Uh, hello guys welcome to channel so today we will see the solution of nsm paper nsm engineering graphics paper 2025 question number one the end point p of line pq is 25 mm above hp while its point q is 15 mm in front of vp its plan and elevation makes 40 degree and 35 degree with xy respectively Draw the projection. If the projected distance between the endpoints is 60 mm, find inclination made by the line with HP and VP. So, uh, in question, projection lines means elevation and plan length is given, its angle is given, starting point is given, again, uh, the distance between two projectors is given 60 mm, this beta is also given. So, to draw a given data, you will if you draw given data you will get four mark okay now from elevation line elevation line is actually projection of two line two length of two length which is drawn on in the top view okay so this is elevation length if we draw arc then this length will be the projection of two length. So if we draw a projector from this point up to opposite side baseline, okay, up to opposite side locus line, then you will get the end point of true length. This is the starting point of uh, true length and plan length. This is the end point of true length. So this length is this is a true length in top view and if you draw plan length and take projection of this point onto the opposite side locus line then you will get the end point of true length in front view so this will be two length this is two length in top view this is two length in front view okay. so this is the answer theta is equal to 27 degree i32 and true length is 90 mm to draw complete front view if you draw complete front view you will get four mark and for complete top view you will get another four mark so generally for uh, answer there is allowance of two to three degree and for length there is allowance of five mm five to three mm 3 to 5 m okay then the next question is uh, this is second question so in this question two length is given theta 30 given point a above hp by 10 mm and in front of pp by 15 mm is given elevation length 45 mm is given so for given data again 4 mark for complete front view 4 mark and complete top view four mark and this is answer i is equal to 50 degree then alpha is equal to 52 degree p is equal to 62 degree beta is equal to 63 degree um, in third question equilateral triangle of 60 mm side is resting on hp on one of its side then its surface is inclined with hp at an angle of 40 degree draw the projection of the plane if the resting side is inclined to vp at an angle of 30 degree so theta 40 degree given and phi 30 degree is given marking scheme is for stage 1 top view 2 mark front view 1 mark stage 2 top view 2 mark front view one mark stage one and two stage two comprises 
टोटल सिक्स मार्क थ्री प्लस थ्री ओके देन द मेन टास्क इज टू आइडेंटिफाई विच एंगल इज गिवन ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन एंगल फाइव इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू टेक एंगल फाइव ओके इन स्टेज थ्री वी हैव टू टेक एंगल फाइव एज इट इज सो वी हैव ड्रॉन अ रेफरेंस लाइन ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री एंड पेस्टेड दिस टॉप व्यू स्टेज वन स्टेज टू ऑन दिस रेफरेंस लाइन एंड देन ड्रॉन अ फ्रंट व्यू सो सिक्स मार्क फॉर स्टेज थ्री थ्री फॉर टॉप व्यू थ्री फॉर फ्रंट व्यू क्वेश्चन फोर अ पेंटाइम ऑन द प्लेन ऑफ साइड फोर्टी एन इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी ऑन इट्स कॉर्नर on its corner point and the edge opposite to the corner makes an angle of 25 degree with the hp surface of the plane is inclined at 40 degree to hp draw projection of the plane draw projection of the plane okay so stage 1 top view this uh, this will be a pentagon here corner point will be on left side we will mark this corner point as a so two mark for top view one mark for front view again two mark for stage to top view one mark for stage to front view then the main task is to find out which angle is given and so in this question angle phi is given because the side which is opposite to the corner point a this side is cd this side is at height of at some height right it is above hp and both points are at same distance both point are at same height it means that the line is parallel to hp and this line okay the side is inclined to vp at angle of 25 degree means angle phi is given and we don't we don't have to calculate angle beta here okay so we have taken angle phi as it is so drawn a reference line of 25 degree and copy pasted this pentagon here okay so three mark for stage 3 top view three mark three mark for uh, stage 3 front view then the next question is question 5 engineering curve focus directrix method ellipse draw the ellipse by focus directrix method if the distance from the focus to directrix is 60 mm and eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 here the distance of focus to directrix is 60 given which is uh, not easily divisible by by 5 right so eccentricity 2 by 3 given so we have to divide the 60 into 5 equal parts two part for two part for vf distance and three part for cv distance so 60 divided by uh, 60 divided by 5 equal to 12 12 into 2 and 12 into 3 12 into 2 24 mm vf distance and 36 distance that is 12 into 3 36 distance for cv distance and this is a focus directrix method or ellipse here the distance v to this okay v1 to v2 this distance here is equal to 13.4 cm 134 mm then uh, next question question 5 b draw the development of lateral surface of a pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis side 80 mm in this question we can draw pentagon of this shape this shape or this shape or this shape okay all four are correct here so one for one mark for top view two mark for front view and uh, remaining four mark for dls 
total 7 mark this one is easy ok the next question question 6 say draw the involute of circle of diameter 50 mm so involute is for almost in previous 4 papers there was involute this is very simple involute involute of circle of diameter 50 mm so one mark for circle again one mark for this line we have to divide the circle and line into equal parts that is 12 parts okay so total mark for involute is 7 mark okay next question question 6b draw the development of lateral surface of cone of base diameter 50 mm and axis height 70 mm so dls of right circular cone all questions all answers are same only there is a difference of diameter and axis height nothing else top view 1 mark front view 2 mark dls 4 mark uh, in dls of cone there is a formula radius of circle upon slant length of cone into 360 this is a formula of angle subtended by dls of cone this angle okay this angle is 121 degree now we, we have divided circle into 12 equal parts so also we have to uh, divide this angle into 12 equal parts so 121 divided by 12 nearly equal to 10 degrees each part will be of 10 degree okay so we have taken 10 degree parts and mark this point up to 12 and again 1 1 mark for top view 2 mark for front view and 4 mark for DLS DLS and calculation ok next question question on orthographic projection figure shows pictorial view of an object using first angle method of projection draw front view top view right hand side view and view dimensions so in this question the side view is asked for right hand side view so outline will be on top here it will be front view then below that top view okay front view then top view and on left side of front view here it will be right hand side view so five mark for each view and one mark for dimension this is a correct answer of this question the side view okay sorry the top view should be taken top view should be taken considering the direction initial direction is direction of front view okay then look from top side okay look top side starting from front view so top view will be like this okay uh, next question question 8 this question is also on orthographic projection there are no question on sectional orthographic projection in this question see figure shows a pictorial view of an object using first angle method of projection draw front view top view right hand side view and view dimensions this question was also easy so five mark for each view five mark for each view and one mark for dimension now isometric view question number 9 figure shows orthographic views of an object by first angle method of projection draw isometric view so in question this is front view top view ok o point is given here o point is given on left side of diagram ok this is the diagram and this is for this line is for dimension 
okay the, this is extension line this is dimension line so diagram part is only this okay. so o point is given on left side of diagram so we have to draw diagram on right side of z axis right side of z axis this is our answer so mark will be distributed like uh, for base plate 4 mark uh, for vertical plate 3 to 4 mark if you have drawn correctly semicircle two semicircles then again four mark okay likewise according to the proportion of correct answer okay your mark will be decided now last question question number 10 figure shows orthographic view of an object by first angle method of projection draw isometric view in the question o point given on right side right on right side of diagram so in answer we have to draw diagram on left side of z axis z axis is here originating from o point right so this is our answer again mark will be decided as per the completion of correct diagram okay guys so if mistakenly you have solved uh, question number one also and question number two also then the mark will be decided suppose in question number one you will you get uh, uh, 12 marks and in question number two you get 10 marks then the maximum mark out of both will be uh, taken okay okay guys now check this solution and uh, calculate your marks and comment your mark in comment box thank you